Guys, I'm sitting in uh, this um, completely abandoned place right now uh, where I didn't expect to see anyone or hear anything uh, for a very long time. And so I was sitting by my computer when I heard something outside of the window and I peek out and yeah, I'll show you what I saw instead. There's a whole bunch of donkeys outside. Uh, what the hell is he doing? Look, and they are multiplying also. Oh gosh, three, three at a time. <laughs> there were three of them. Look, oh God, oh God, that's why there are so many. Jesus, three at a time. Bicycle, did you see that? Anyways, I'll show you in a little bit what's going, where I am parked. I am parked um this whole neighborhood so to speak is an abandoned place it's uh, you know just abandoned buildings as far as the eye can see so let me show you on google maps where i am at uh, this is france on the top and this is spain in the bottom and i am somewhere in between here there we go london maison this little place, uh, if we go down towards the bottom and a little bit off to the right, this whole area here is abandoned. It used to be some kind of a parking for trains or whatever, uh, and it's mostly sealed off. But if you drive from this roundabout this way, make a left turn here, uh, you can come into with the camping car uh, into this area. And uh, yeah. And off to the left, exactly here, is where I am parked right now. And next we're going to go into some buildings and see what we can find. Huh? Say you <laughs> My cat is always talking. You will know before the end of this video. Bryski, I'm trying to make a movie here. <clears throat> you will know before the end of this video what's in this package. Oh God. Oh God, I just woke up. Um, the first thing I need to do in the morning is to cuddle with the cat. Huh? You doing sunset? Hmm? Did the weekend set? Mm. You doing the little adorable cat, but key? Every night he sleeps, um, you know, between my legs. Oh, so cute. This is the world's most cutest cat. Look how cute he is. Such a good boy. And the second thing in the morning is to get breakfast. Mmm. That's some good stuff. I told my cat to to go into the garage while I was shooting some video, but now he wants to come outside. Ah, oh, come out. Hmm. I forgot today. Ah. But you talk so much all the time, Baski. You talk. It's why you must go in the garage. I'm telling. Uh, sometimes I have to uh, because he this cat talks so much all the time so in in order for him to be quiet I have to tell my cat to to <laughs> to go into the garage uh, he's so obedient but one thing he never learned is is why I need to punish him like that can you go to bus huh good oh, yeah. but it's cold outside Basky. 
holy shit, it's cold outside. Oh gosh, Jesus. Yeah, this is the place we are going to explore in a bit. So I'm new to this, kind of new. I've done only a couple of videos in the past. My intention is to actually start vlogging more because that motivates me to get out and do stuff. Otherwise, all I do is sit in front of my computer. Despite me living in a motorhome, that's what I do. It's crazy, really. So what I usually do in the morning is to crank the heat up to the max because I have a diesel heater so it's not really good for the heater if I only keep it on a if I don't do that um, it needs to expel all the soot and stuff inside that kind of collects during the night so cranking it up to max uh, will add extra heat that kind of remains in the car for a long time but it also expels all that shit out of the machine so I'm shooting this on a DJI Pocket 2. So far this thing has been working great. There's one little issue I have with the camera though. You would expect that a camera you can just unbox it and start shooting video. But actually what they force you to do is to connect this camera to your phone. Not even your computer, it has to be your phone. And then you have to get a DJI account. So there's a number of privacy issues there. But what I also realized is that um, you can use a fake email, fake everything because they don't, they're not even going to ask you to verify the email, uh, you know, so there's that. That's a lot of cables. What the hell is this thing? Weird. Sometimes when I explore buildings like this, uh, I actually meet my cat. My cat is also an explorer. He goes into these buildings, just as I do, and sneak around. So don't be too surprised if all of a sudden, a talking cat shows up. I'm walking up a stairway now. Stairways are especially dangerous because they can fall in, you know, at any moment's notice. Sometimes if I have the need, I actually do piss inside these toilets. <laughs> so this says property under ca camera surveillance. Uh, that's funny. I've noticed that a cuckoo is how French say hi sometimes. Oh wow, this is so cool. Oh shit, there's a fucking hole in the ground. Jesus. What is this place anyways? You know, what did they used to do here? I have no idea. Oh, I see. So this is insulation that used to be in the ceiling, you know, all the way through. And it has, it must have fallen down I suppose and then someone cleaned it up and put it right next to the wall there's the talking cat huh oh yeah huh yeah huh sad no oh Jesus oh gosh collapse look they added a warning text on the, on the wall that we shouldn't go in there. Oh gosh, the ground is so soft. Yeah, I don't want to go step any further. Fuck that. 
This building seems to be collapsing. Let's get out of here. Fuck shit. <laughs> My cat is pissing. Hey, Basky. The good thing about uh, always having your home with you is that you can make pit stops for a new cup of coffee. Mm. Really good stuff. Before exiting uh, the room, you have to clean up the room, <laughs> empty the trash, yada, yada, yada. Okay, it, do it doesn't seem like they have been cleaning up here except this wall. They took that to heart. Nice, good job. It's so cold, I'm wearing a jacket. But it's only cold in the morning, you know, here down in the south of France. See how cool that is? How nature is just kind of growing its way into the building like that. Now this is a work of art, I think, because you have the text over here that says alone, but can you find who is alone in this picture? It's this guy sitting up in the corner. Voila, this is the next uh, leg of the journey. Uh, we're going to start up here in uh, Lani Masan and then go down this way and up a mountain. It's going to be super cool. We zoom in a little bit. This is where we are, the abandoned place. I'm going to go up here and uh, wash my car. And then we go over here is where the interesting stuff happens. My first stop is going to be this location. See how cool that is? It's like super cool. Uh, so I might even stay a night or two here. We'll see what happens. It's gonna be so cool. And then we continue higher up all the way over here. So <clears throat> this place is, um, you don't ask me, I'm not a geography expert, but it seems to be an artificial lake of some sort that they built in order to trap the water. So I can only suppose that they needed a lake here for some reason. Probably they are generating electricity out of it or something. Uh, but I can come up all the way here and park with my car here. So that's going to be so, so cool. And I'm going to do some hiking too on the mountains around here and see what I can find. Okay, let's go. All these hangars here, I did not explore that and I have to do it another time. I picked up the package yesterday, so I don't need to do that. We go straight for the mountains. Oh my god. Barsky! <laughs> Alright, let's go. This cat loves to look out the window when we drive. Quit it though. 
då. En jävla kattjävel. So this morning, um, I, I spent like half an hour just uh, picking ticks out of my cat in a very elevated mental state because those things freaks me out badly. Jesus, I've been stressed all day because of that experience. You see how well maintained the lawn is here? That means my cat won't get any ticks on him which makes my life a whole lot easier. If I release my cat in an area like this, I don't even have to check him. See how everything is so well maintained. Even I can walk here without, without getting stuff on me. See, no ticks. There's the cat. <laughs> yeah, the bicycle. Ah, what are you doing? Ah, what are you Är du rädd för hunden? Ja. Oh, vad gulligt. Ja, ah, vad gör du? Är du en buss? Är du en buss? Är du en buss? Ja. Ah. My cat is going to love it here. He's going to... You know, at, at night time, all these people are gone. All the cars, all the people, everything. And I'm going to have the whole park to myself. Super. See? I even have my own little cute dog. That's so cool. When these uh, cars uh, has moved, I'm going to reposition my car so I have the entire corner for myself. Gosh, that's going to be so cool. I'm going to spend a couple of days here and I'm going to run around, do lots of exercises. But skin, how you do? Huh? Are you having fun, Bisky? Huh? Are you the worst, most free cat? Are you? <laughs> and you want to know uh, what I had in the package? This, a drone. So I got it for the mountain, uh, the lake that we're going to next. But I'm going to deploy it here. It's going to be my first time flying a drone, so that's going to be super cool. Uh, yeah, let's check it out.
Okay, you can't believe what just happened. You won't believe it. Well, it's probably evident if you looked in the previous shot. My drone flew straight into a tree and it got stuck in the tree very high up. It was like at least a hundred meters up. So this French couple comes walking <clears throat> on this on the side. Long story short, what happens is that they <laughs> This guy, he goes to a, a farmer right next door. He retrieves a super tall ladder. We, we, we lean it towards the tree. This guy, he goes up the tree again and he takes this rod and he takes a couple of tries, but he gets the, he gets the drone to fall off the, the branch. And I tried to, uh, to and I tried to bicycle, bicycle. oh gosh. My cat, he, he always comes down the skylight. And then he goes straight out of the car again. Anyways, so the the the, uh, the drone falls and it sort of lands on my, slashes my arm a little bit. The drone still flies and I have it. I mean, I have back my drone. Wow, I'll show you the damage to the drone. So one of these, one of these wings here there's a little, there's a little notch, a little piece missing here on the edge. And then also the case, this case kind of got broken. I think I can just squeeze this back into position. And a DJI, actually with the drone came a set of extra propellers and a screwdriver. So I can actually replace this guy. And I'll see what I can do about this one. Look, I managed to uh, get him back into position. So there's a crack in the case. That's all. That's all. Now it's like new again. Lesson learned. Um, on your first flight, when you're operating a drone and you don't know what you're trying to do, what you're doing, essentially, uh, don't try to get the best shots you can. I was circling around the car. I was trying to, you know, I'm going to go super low. I, I knew there was trees around but gosh and that's about enough of action I've had for today as usual you know when you live in a camping car it's constant action every day really it's wow <laughs>